the reason why you will fail at entrepreneurship and at running your business are exact same reasons why you don't have a job right now. Let it sink in. The reason why you might fail at running your own business, at running your freelance business, your service-based business, what have you, is exact same reasons why you don't have a job right now. Go entrepreneurial route if you're having trouble landing a job in tech in this down economy. Let's break it down. So. This episode is going to be a lot of a lot of truth bombs. So I normally post motivational, inspirational content because I want to elevate you. But sometimes we need to have an honest and frank conversation. So today, so pull your chair up, grab your favorite drink, and let's dive into a very frank and serious conversation about entrepreneurship and about whether or not it's worth it whether or not it makes sense for you to start your entrepreneurial journey in tech or leveraging your skills that you learn in tech so so let's break it down we are in down economy and down market for sure meaning companies are trying to save money people are trying to save money everybody everybody is clinging through their wallets and uh, everybody is trying to save money. Everybody needs security. Also, what we see on the market, we see a lot of uh, software developers or more than usual amount of software developers available on the market right now. And the competition, quote unquote, is super high or higher than normal. The same thing in entrepreneurial world if you think if you think that you are the only one who has a unique solution unique skill set to offer your business you are not so let's break it down why you might have difficulties finding your job and whether or not it makes sense for you to transition to business and running your own business so what I see on the market right now, software developers, they don't have their own niche. They kind of like, they kind of, they can do everything and anything. So, and when you can do everything and anything, when you're a generalist, it is really hard for you to position yourself as a subject matter expert, as the authority in your niche, in your industry, because you kind of all over the place. You all you are all over the place. So you're like kind of targeting too wide of the audience at the get-go. So finding your profitable niche, the niche that will bring you money, is essential. And I will make another video or better a live stream. And uh, actually, I'm going to talk about profitable niches on my LinkedIn. If we are not connected on LinkedIn. I highly recommend you to connect with me or at least follow me on LinkedIn and um, join my audio room on Wednesday when I am talking about profitable niches and I'm probably going to do a live stream about profitable niches as well. So stay tuned. So finding your profitable niche and a profitable niche is not just an industry and it's not just specialty. It can look differently for different developers, for different specialties. So number two, you are not putting yourself out there. And when I say putting yourself out there, what I mean by that is creating content. You're not creating content. And uh, even if you are creating content, you are not creating the right type of content. And when I say the right type of content, it's the type of content that will guide your audience, guide your network from an aware stage to the most aware stage. And by the way, if you are on the job market or if you are running your own business, so let's say you're in the job market, you treat your uh, 
market, you treat your audience just like your customers because you are business of one at the end of the day. And uh, the customer journey, the customer awareness is problem unaware. It's the very first stage, then problem aware, solution aware, uh, product aware, and the most aware. So these are five digital stages, which you have to be really keen on. And this is something that I go over in my coaching program with my clients, whether they're in um, business essentials or their career legacy, like because this is essential, bringing awareness of your of yourself as a product, it is essential. It is essential. So the right type of content. And if you're not putting yourself out there and you have a really difficult time finding a job, you're finding that market is overly saturated. This is why. Because a lot of developers are not doing that. A lot of developers are not doing that and they're not putting themselves out there. Um, reason number reason number next and reason number two uh, is you are not uh, leveraging networking. You're not networking, you're not connecting with people. You're not connecting with people. And when I say leveraging your networking, meaning you should connect with new people every day. Yes, I said every day, at least five to 10 people. Because when I go to your profile and I see just 1,200 connections or 1,200 followers, y'all, you're not doing your homework. You're not doing your due diligence to expand your network. There are, enough people, there are more than enough people on LinkedIn who will connect with you, who will follow you, who will be a part of your community. So go and connect with people. I am dead serious. No, you're not bothering nobody. And LinkedIn is a networking platform. So, um, and then, um, it's really, uh, if, when you, when you have those, uh, elements, right, you, uh, you have your, uh, you put yourself out there, you create content and you network with people, then it will increase your, uh, chances of standing out and, uh, landing a job. So, but we're talking about business. We're not talking about landing a job, are we? So, if you have those components together, like you're marketing yourself, you're putting yourself out there, you you you, you have what it takes. Uh, what you what you will notice that uh, you will get better requests at the job, uh, the jobs that are available. Like number one, number two, like you have the foundation to market your own business. And also, when you when it comes to uh, entrepreneurship and start marketing your own business, again, you like there's a uh, identity shifts the shift that has to happen. There's a identity shift that has to happen because all up to now, if you like, let's say you you think you you did your homework, you look at your profile, you look at how you show up online. Like, okay, I create content. Um, I probably need help with uh, the right strategy, how I create content and what I'm talking about. So I track opportunities to me, but my content resonates with people. Okay, I need a little bit help with that, but like I have that component. I network with people, I connect with people, but I need help how how else I can connect with people. But overall, I do my whole work. Overall, I connect with people. I have the foundation. And if you have that foundation, you probably have a little bit better pipeline of uh, jobs, at least, you know, interviews, at least you're having the conversations because market is not dead right now. Mar the market is not dead right now. But if you still like think, okay, um, you know what? I'm tired of this insecurity and I'd rather have my business instead, which is I think, in, in, in my opinion, if you are looking for a security and comfort, entrepreneurship is not is anything but security and comfort because it is a different mindset. It's a different, um, it, it, it's, it's a different management skills. You have to manage your business. You have to manage your emotions. You have to manage yourself. This is really crucially important because as an employee, you know you have nine, your nine to five. As an employee, you know where your paycheck is coming from. But as an entrepreneur, you may not know when your next pay, 
paycheck is coming from if you don't have that steady pipeline. So, and what I always recommend people to do, um, there are stages. Like there are stages to break into entrepreneurship. There are stages to transition into your uh, working on your business full time. Uh, a lot of business coaches screaming say, drop your nine to five, exit corporate America, enough is enough, uh, you uh, know your worth, you can do it all. And I'm believing you, you can own all life, but you need to learn how to do, how to run your business. If you think that you can just go and figure out, and if you think that you can just go and Google it, no, you can't. I'm sorry, no, you can't. I'm speaking from experience because until I get professional coaching, professional business coaching, and it was a journey for me to find the right coach, to find the right mentor, to find the right people. I couldn't see the success. I couldn't see the results. So you need to learn how to do business because you spend time and resources to learn your uh, craft as a software developer or as a tech professional, right? So you, it took you some time to be good at what you do. It took you some time to be good at what you do, right? So what makes you think what makes you think that uh, you can just jump into business and be successful at it, that you, know, yeah, that you will know how to market your business, that you will land customers right away, that you will know, know how to price it, that you will know exactly what the business model is suitable for your offer and your situation, and you simply won't, like, listen, you simply won't. So you need you need to learn that and you need business coaching for that. Like whether you go with me or with somebody else, you need business coaching, period. Because this is a different skill set. And also it's a like it's a it's a it's a it's an identity shift. You are not a developer anymore. You are a business, you're solution provider, you're a problem solver. So what is your niche? What is your most qualified ideal customer? I'm going to repeat that because somebody will miss it. What is your most ideal qualified customer? Not just your ideal customer because there are many ideal customers that you might serve, but they may not be qualified. And also, at what level of awareness your ideal qualified customer is at? And what can you do? And what can you do to fix it? What can you do to fix it? How can you uh, lead them from problem unaware to solution aware? How can you lead them to you? That is the question. That is the question. So, um, also, what problem you are solving? Because, again, Swift UI, uh, UI UIKit, Angular, backend developer, frontend development, uh, design, uh, leveraging your project management skills. These are these are these are the tools. How you gonna solve that problem? These are not the solution. This uh, uh, you need to figure out what problem you are solving. One problem, one problem, not two, not three, not ten. One problem. One problem can have multiple, multiple uh, symptoms. And in your content, you will address those symptoms 100%. But there's one problem, one, pro one niche, one audience, one ideal customer, one solution, one platform. Because also, how do you market yourself? Because if you start spreading yourself too thin, like too, too many on too many platforms, then what will happen? You're going to burn out. 
you and you don't uh, listen when you're starting out you simply don't have operational capacity to market yourself everywhere so should you go to entrepreneurship back to my question i think it is absolutely rewarding i think it is absolutely um a wonderful path to be independent be like get your free there's a, like there is a level of freedom that you have you control your schedule you you can you can be you and nobody can fire you but you this is the this is the that element of freedom that i absolutely like as an entrepreneur but there are stages into breaking entrepreneurship you need to get knowledge you need to get you need to get education if you just quit your job or if you like if you're having trouble landing a job and like okay like let me just start my own business without proper education without proper and when i say proper education i mean proper coaching and mentorship you don't have to get mba you don't have to go to college for that you don't but with that proper knowledge you won't succeed with that proper knowledge you won't succeed so like it's a learning curve you need to learn how to do that it's logical because when people think that like oh like i need to learn how to code but like i don't need to learn how to business how to do business i can just copy somebody else and do my business this is not how it works this is not how it works so um get coaching get coaching and and, and it's important to find you uh, for yourself a right coach and a right mentor who can help you because there are many business coaches out there there are many business coaches who are advertising like oh i can help you with online coaching talk to them and i like i am running and this is why i have my 30 minute mini coaching session available for people to talk to me and i keep my slots open when i when i have capacity for new clients when i don't have the capacity i close my calendar period like all you can do is just join my wait list so this is why if if it is something that is interest you if it is something that interests you connect with me on linkedin send me a dm message and say hey i like i need a i need a mini coaching session or comment for this video below coaching and i will get back with you and i we and we will get connected and we will get it set up because education is important and also and is a good like if you're just starting out if you're just starting for the love of everything in your setting to too um it's okay to have a job and run your business because you need cash flow to sponsor your business and your nine to five will have that will play that role a cash flow for your business so you can invest in your education and your coaching you can invest in your business because there are business expenses there are business expenses even if even when you running your business as lean as possible so you need like software to process your payments right you need a uh, you need a software to like do live streams for example you like there will be minimum business expenses they're not huge but there will be minimum business expenses there will be business expenses for uh your uh platform to build your email list even though it's not the top priority but you need to like it, it's a good it's a good thing to have that software available to you so i hope it helps let me know in the comments below what questions you have like i said if you need coaching and helping you to start uh with your own business and to get the right coaching then the right mentorship 30 minute mini coaching session is available to you this is not a sales goal this is try before you buy it and my my goal is to provide you as much as much value as i possibly can and help you to make a decision what is the right next step for you i'll see you in the in the next video bye